which of the following lines is a tangent to the circle with equation x squared plus y squared is 4? This is taken from an Oxford University maths admissions test. We've got four options here. Now, you might think to maybe plug these in and do something with that, and you actually can do it that way, but that's a bit long-winded. What I'm going to do, and what they kind of expect you to do in the mat, is to draw a picture. So let's draw this circle here. So x squared plus y squared equals 4. Uh, it's just a circle. The center is 0, 0. The radius is 2. So I'm just going to draw a rough circle there. Uh, not a very great circle, but that's fine. Uh, the radius is 2. Um, so those two points there are 2 and 2. Um, and we've been given four options here. And we can actually just do this via elimination. Uh, let's look at the first one. The first one is the line x plus y equals 2. That's the straight line going through those two points there. Clearly not a tangent. I'll eliminate that. We can also look at C here. That's just the uh, vertical line, x equals root 2. Root 2 is less than 2. It's maybe there. It's a vertical line like that. That's clearly not a tangent. What about this guy here? This is just y equals root 2 minus x, or in other words, x plus y is root 2. So again, it's going to be parallel to this guy, but this time passing through root 2 and root 2. And so it's going to look like that. So clearly not a tangent. So the answer is B, uh, y equals x minus 2 root 2. And if you're curious, that looks something a bit like that there. Now, this is the easiest way. And the way that they kind of expect you to solve this is to draw a picture and draw these lines on. And in fact, they've been quite nice here in that the only option that could plausibly work, or there's only one option that could plausibly work. These three options, as I illustrated, are really easy to eliminate. If you didn't do this, and what annoyingly A-level teaches you to do is just plug in each of these four options. So what maybe um, uh, you might be tempted to do is take, let's say, this first example, uh, x plus y equals 2, and substitute it into here. So you get x squared plus you know 2 minus x squared equals 4, and expand this, and you get 2x squared minus 4x is 0, if you expand and simplify this. And then look at the discriminant of this guy and get that the discriminant is positive, and therefore there won't be two solutions. But... That's quite cumbersome um, to do, at least with all four of these options. This is the way you want to do it.